All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we got a really awesome video for you guys. Right here we got a Chevy Chevy 2. This is a 1965. So a buddy of ours actually just picked it up. He pretty much just got it a few weeks ago. And we're going to be doing a full detail on it. I'm going to kind of, it's not going to be too much of a video where we're going to talk and kind of go through all the products. But I'm going to show you guys what I use and kind of just show the process of me cleaning it and how we're going to bring this paint back to its best shine that we can get out of it. So if you guys look at it, it's really solid. It's super clean. There's not really any big scratches in it. It's got, it had all body work redone at some point. Check that out. So the paint's real clean. We just got to kind of get rid of some of the swirl marks in there. As you guys can see, it's not dirty or anything like that. It's just got a little bit of dust on there. So we're just going to try to clean this up and then we're going to bring that paint back to life. And I'm going to show you guys the process of me actually doing that and the type of products I'm going to use to bring this paint back. this Chevy I'm gonna be using car pro reset this is gonna help get rid of any type of waxes on here but she was telling us that he was using some spray waxes when he was taking it to a couple shows so we want to make sure we get that wax off before I start polishing and then for the wheels which are really not too bad so we're not gonna to see too too much decounting from it I'm gonna use Geralt's garage heavy-duty wheel cleaner I actually used this stuff on my truck before and it worked great so I figured it'll be good to use on here but we're not gonna to see too much uh, contamination coming off the rims or anything it's pretty clean so we're just going to try to get this thing wa wa washed down and get it all set for uh, polishing all right guys so if you guys are a fan of any type of automotive content whether it be detailing testing products just general car show videos or general car maintenance definitely give our channel a follow we're always posting different types of stuff relating to cars if that's something you guys are interested in definitely check it out and I want to show you guys real quick here, see how all this water is beating up on the paint? That's why I'm going to be doing a reset wash, is because I don't want to start polishing and having all that type of wax on there. So that's why we're going to be using a soap that's going to knock that down so it won't have any of that wax. Because you guys can see throughout this whole side that I wet down, it's beating up real good. So the reset soap can actually take off some waxes. Might be a little bit harder for it to do it than using clean slate. Obviously for something like this, we didn't want to just use the reset considering this has freshly been waxed a couple times. So we kind of figured it wouldn't be able to be enough to take all that wax off. So we actually ended up going with clean slate on this one. All right guys, so last night I ended up getting through polishing most of this Chevy 2 here. So this was one of them cars that you actually have to kind of test a bunch of different spots and try a bunch of different products. So I actually started out using this Moneymaker 3-in-1 by Auto Fanatic. So this stuff is really good. It obviously as it says here is it clean, cor corrects the paint, and protects it. So this stuff was working great on getting out the swirl marks. But as I was looking at it in different lighting and stuff, trying to make sure and see it, what it was doing, I started noticing that there was a, a lot of deeper cuts or uh, imperfections in the paint, a bunch of different scratches. I don't know if the camera will pick up most of them, but it was it was a lot worse than I actually initially thought that it was going to be when I started polishing. So I decided that this one was not cutting enough for what I needed it at the time. So I actually ended up changing out that product and ended up going with 3D Speed here. Now this product was working great with getting out a lot of those scratches 
and kind of giving it a nice deep shine also but there's still a little bit of imperfections in the paint it's not we're not going for 100 percent perfect right now we just want to kind of have it shined up and, and protected for uh crews coming up but this stuff was working great on getting a lot of those different kind of scratches out and all that different type of stuff so i, I had to decide if that was going to be enough if i was happy with just using this and calling it a day after polishing it or if i wanted to kind of perfect it a little bit better so i decided that i actually wanted to make it look a little bit better i feel like i could do that and so i used this Geralt's garage correction cream throughout the car and as you guys can see now it's got a real nice shine here it brought back a nice shine to it there is a little bit of scratches in there that are definitely a lot deeper in the paint that we're looking at that we may go back uh, later on down the line and, and perfect those but for now it got rid of a lot of those small scratches it got rid of all the swirl marks in there it brought back that nice deep gloss look to the car and we're real happy with it we do have to still do the roof to it so we'll kind of do a little footage of us uh polishing that but i got most of the car done and you guys can see the results there like i said sometimes you know when you're getting ready to polish a car it's kind of a hassle because you don't know what to use going into it and even when you are getting into it you have to constantly check and make sure that what products and pads you're using are doing a proper job at getting rid of those scratches don't be ashamed if you got to change your products or pads out because it's not working the way you want all right guys so with this video i'm not bashing any of those products they all did very great and they do they have their own purpose for what you're going to use them for but as i was using them on this car and as i got deeper into the paint i started realizing that the paint was in worse shape than i thought i think with it just sitting and you know people maybe different ways people were washing it or whatever paint gets contaminated it gets scratches in it it happens those products were great for what they're designed for but on this car i had to change up some things and go with a little bit heavier of a cut still recommend those products they were awesome but like i said you always got to change up your tactic when attacking these old paints all right guys right now we're using an hbo cutting pad with that correction cream if you guys are interested in any of the products we used in this video, we're going to have all of them in the description so you guys can check them out and order those for yourself. The camera's picking up there's some scratches right here they're pretty deep so we're not going to go after them right yet um we may back go come back and then do it in the winter go to this house and really go after this paint but right now we just want to get it cleaned up for them make it look good get all these light scratches out get it looking good for the rest of the car season all right guys i'm going to be using this whole shot by auto fanatic just to give these tires a nice shine We'll use it on that one over there that we'll show here in a minute to use this you could probably use a spray top on it but for right now since i'm just using it on the tires i'm just using a nice little old foam applicator that i use on all the tires and just pouring it on there just enough to have it on there you don't need too much this stuff usually gives it a nice shine without having to pour a bunch on there kind of hard lot to get that top part once the car moves but as you guys can see it's given that nice deep wet look that we'd like to see on these tires after a nice clean detail never want to forget doing the tires and there we go that's all you got to do give that nice shine all right guys so after we finished polishing the whole car i'm gonna i was using some of this turtle wax hybrid solution ceramic spray coating so i actually have a lot of personal experience with this this is what i was using on my 2004 f-150 keeping that clean so i figured this would be a great product just to throw it on here this is a garage kept vehicle it's not going to be seeing a bunch of elements like rain or anything like that and we also wanted to use products that the owner can go to the store pick up and just put onto his car without having any hassle of ordering anything and just being able to find this stuff in any store so we got already got most of the body done i just got to do the roof and that's it It's like giving the classic car a nice shine.
Plus two at the end of the video, we're gonna take this to a scenic spot to get some final footage instead of in the driveway or the garage for you guys. Don't forget to let us know what product you guys use on your cars or recommend any products for a vehicle like this. Let us know. guys we got the Nova or the 72 all finished for you guys check that out they came out awesome it's always awesome being able to look at the detailing process and seeing how great the results are but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any video suggestions that you guys want to see us do leave them in the comments give us uh, any type of detailing products anything like that put them in the comments so we can check out those products but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to subscribe and like the video and check out all our other stuff on our channel. Thank you guys. Yep. Appreciate you guys watching the video.